Hello folks, how you doing? And welcome to my channel. So, new moon in Virgo. And as we do it, there is a gorgeous rainstorm outside, which sounds really cleansing. Before we get to the cards, there is an energy update that I wanted to talk about on Instagram and the little phone videos that I do. Um, well, I think I'm going to bring it into this because I'm feeling that it needs to be in this. Um, and it is that time is running out. Time is running out for the old version of us. And what I mean by that is going other days where you dump yourself down. Revolution is what I'm feeling. Revolution. I mean, there is an eclipse. I think it's either 18th. I've got it's for some reason I've got the 18th and the 24th of September in my head, and I don't know why. Um, so maybe put those dates in your diary. Um, 18th and 24th of September 2024, maybe 24, 25. Um, yeah, 18th. What's on the 24th then? Is the eclipse. What's on the 24th? Be interesting to see. I don't know, but record 24th as well, 24th of September. Um, it's revolution. Not revolutions in storm in the streets, although I think you're going to see more of that. Um, it's revolution in as far as dumbing ourselves down, you know, hiding your tarot cards because, you know, your mother-in-law doesn't believe in it or putting your crystals away because you're dating someone that doesn't believe in crystals. This is about sod it. I am being who I am. I don't care if you get me. I don't care if you don't understand me. I can't spend the rest of my incarnation dumbing myself down. There's also going to be more and more people awakening, starting their awakening journeys. There's going to be more and more people becoming vocal about things that are happening in the world. And, you know, when you walk this path, it can be quite intimidating to put spiritual things on your, on your Facebook because what if work find out or maybe there's a truth post that you want to share? It is what it is. Well, if I said to you that every time you shared something like that, it sowed seeds, it planted seeds that may not always come up at the time, but will eventually take root. And it's almost like more and more people are waiting for these posts, even though some of these posts will trigger people or even like trigger the people that are posting them. Because what if I get judged? We've got to step out of that. Um because the, the times that we're going into are going to be very different from where we have been. Um, suppression and disempowerment and fear and doing somebody else's bidding. So it feels like this new moon is going to be bringing a lot more of that to the table. Um, what else does the new moon feel like? The new moon. Clarity. I keep getting clarity, 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 more clarity. But for some of you, remember when you ask for more clarity, it can come in ways in which may be upsetting. Clarity is okay when we're ready to hear it and we actually know what we're needing clarity for. But sometimes clarity can also be painful. Um It's being able to embrace the pure while still being aware of the dark. It's being able to build your life on your terms, in your way. To think about jobs, relationships, friendships that fulfill us, that inspire us, that motivate us. To make big conscious choices of what lifts us up. To be able to notice the bird song more, to be able to connect more with the natural world. Um, and if you're struggling with health, wealth, well being issues, spiritual issues, then please do go out and get into nature as much as you can, even if it is just planting a flower box for your high rise block of flats or getting a planter and planting some plants. 
because the natural world, the woods, the trees, the grass, the forests, the plants, the oceans, the lakes, the rivers, the streams, the waterfalls is where the healing is at. And humanity, one of the main reasons that humans are broken is because the natural world has been taken from us. I mean, be, tr be truthful with yourself. Can you, how far can you go to get to your nearest park that actually isn't a drugs den? Or it isn't somewhere that you actually don't want to walk through because it's been taken over by something. How far do you have to walk before you can get to trees, forests, rivers and, and lakes and a beach or a forest or fields? I didn't realise how much of a problem that was for inner city living until I moved to the countryside. And I was like, oh, God, it took me so long to get used to peace and stillness and being around trees and, and 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 the natural world so more and more are being called to the natural world and if you can't get to parks or whatever or nature it's about bringing the natural world to us so you know window boxes internal plants doing as much as we can going as organic and as natural as we can in everything so let's see what the cards want to say i'm using the radiant right away and I've been drawn to this Anubis Oracle. And it is by Nikki Scully and Linda Star Wolf. Okay, so that's the deck. But the first one I'll use is the Radiant Rider Weight. New moon in Virgo. New moon in Virgo. See what th we'll start off with three. Priestess at the bottom, High Priestess, and the Fool. The Taking a Leap of Faith. Oh, I know the next card as well, which is Hierophant, because I knocked it by accident, and Strength, and I'm going to take four. We'll see if we'll take some more in a minute. You know what? I don't know if there's any particular order. We know this one came out first. Having the strength to take those leaps of faith. Maybe you've been pushed out of something, rejected, tormented for some of you. You have to have the strength to step the next step. Nobody's going to do it for you. There's a real need to draw on this strength. For some of you, you're going to have to draw really deep to just keep going, to just wake up on the morning and get out of bed. But it's saying that you must you must find your strength. You must find your strength of character because strength of character is what's going to help people through the next few years and decades. A good, strong strength of character. The days of worshipping something outside of us are going. The more that we worship something outside of us, the less time we spend with our self, the high priestess, at the bottom. So these times require strength, but it's not about your feeling weak and so you need to find your strength. This is about actually knowing that you have the, got the strength, that you can do this. So all those old stories that we tell ourselves are needing to be let go of. Also as well, the hierophant is the enlightenment coming in. You know, we've been filled with that much light over the past few months since the beginning of this year that we cannot be that person that we that we were in January 2024. We can't be that person anymore. There's still aspects of us that still maybe are playing in that energy, but we can't be there anymore. We really can't. For our survival, for our happiness, for our joy, we're having to take a leap of faith for who we are, self-preservation, our self-confidence. We really, I'm getting this so strongly, we really have to know who we are. Because also as well, what's also going on in the, out, in, the outside, in the external world is people that want to bring you down. People that want to destroy you or belittle you or mock you. Those are the very people that don't know who they are. They don't have direction. They don't have purpose. 
They've not found their light. They've not taken their leaps of faith. They can't find their strength or their self-confidence. So how they cover that up is they go for other people. They attack other people. Happy people don't bully. Happy people don't attack people. Sad, lonely, lost people do. And this is saying about, look at these cards are coming out for you. There's a reason why you're drawn to watch all these videos. There's a frequency with all videos that we do. And there's a reason why this video has, draw, has, has brought you in. There'll be a reason why some people won't watch it. But you're, you're drawn to this video because you're already, there's an aspect of you, even if you're sat there thinking, I feel really shit, Claire. There's an aspect of you that's already here. So your guides are saying, please wake up. Please realize this. Please step into your high priestess energy. Please have faith and hope. Yes, we know the world is full of batshit craziness at the minute. And it's going to get wilder out there, believe me. But ultimately, as it gets wilder, this is what we are meant to be doing. Stepping into our divinity, stepping into our priestess, being able to balance all that we're seeing, experiencing and feeling with the world, the, the light and the dark, being able to balance it, not running from our shadow and our darkness, not totally wanting to enmesh to our light or even run from our light. You will be surprised the amount of people that will run from light. They don't want to face it. Um, we have to keep rising in our sovereignty, our abundance. This is not just money, but so be it if it is. Knowing that, you know, you have enough, that we are enough. There's a lot of people that are going to have to now start taking leaps of faiths out of jobs. Um, I'm, I'm tuning into an energy of spirit of known for some time that many people are not where they're meant to be. They're in the old jobs they got into when they were in a, in an unawakened state or in a different an awake or in an unawakened journey, but maybe not at the next level that they need to be at. And there's a real need for people to make that jump, but they're not wanting to. And this is almost like spirit saying, you've got to, you've got to. Um, interesting. Perspective. The Knight of Pentacles, this is your offering to the world. This is you making a first step. So we've got these really big, powerful cards coming in about newness and leaps of faith. But actually we've got the humbleness card coming in saying, it's got to be done with a different frequency, a humbleness. It's okay to start again. It's okay to be in a job where you're king and queen and then start again as a page or a night. It's okay. It's okay to go to a job that pays less. It's okay to go to a job that's actually not where you were. Say you're a senior nurse and you and you can't deal with that pressure and that shit show. So you're going to go back to being a nurse. What's wrong with that? It's the matrix, the false matrix, that tells you there's something wrong with that. But actually the heart and the soul says, no, you can be whoever you need to be. You can find joy in any role in the world. Big high-powered CEO role, if you're heart-centered for it, that big high-powered CEO role might need a heart-centered person. You know, it's it's about our perspective. And when we love ourselves, when we honor ourselves, when we cherish ourselves, it changes the game. <laughs> And then we can drive forward with the chariot and we can keep going forward. We can keep taking charge of our destiny. We're not waiting for the elite or the rich person or your boss. So somebody to lead the way, your doctor, your social worker, your mum, your dad, your husband, your wife. You're actually able to lead your own life. Yeah, you can have, you know, connections with other people, but you're not, you know, the, what is it? Is it six of coins? where there's the elite man and he's got the pauper and they're like, please, sir. It's like the Olive Oliver Twist card. I call it Oliver Twist card, where it's like, more, please. And the elite, like, dripping it down. That energy of waiting to be told what to do, waiting to be told for guidance is actually going. It really, and it's ramping up in a big way now. 
And then you can be victorious. When you step into your power, when you look, when you love your, I was going to say when you run your life, but it came out when you, I was going to say when you run your life, but it came out as when you love yourself, love yourself, love your life. It changes the game. You're victorious. No matter what you're doing, when you love yourself, when you nourish yourself, when you honor yourself, when you respect yourself, it, it changes the game. And this is saying also as well that those leaps of faith can be possible. Let's take another one. What's been passed down to you? What about your past? What's your past knowledge? Ancestral healing. Tapping into past lives when you have been the druid, the shaman, the mystic, Atlantean or whatever. Not just, to, you see, again, not just tapping into being a druid or Atlantis because we want all the glory lives, but tapping into the past life when you've been a beggar and the wisdom that you've got from that and the wisdom that you've got from the lifetime where you were hung. So it's all your story, all your lifetimes, all your experiences coming in and being the gift that keeps on giving. And we'll take one more card from this. And that is how we bring about healing and choice. Go to the new Miss Oracle. Master Craftsman, creator of form, organizing principle. Creating your life. Going back to, if there's anybody watching that's wanting to set up any kind of self-employment or to make something, be it anything, anything that's going to be self-employment, go for it. This card is for you. If there's anyone out there looking to go for a new job, go for it. This is for you. This is about stepping back into our gifts. What can I make? What can I create? What can I produce? How can I make myself a happy, wholesome life? in this mad bat shit show of, a, of an earth, of a world that's going on at the minute. Solar energies, transfiguration and al alchemical, alchemical gold. I said that wrong. Solar energies, energies from the sun. A Nile, sacred archetypal element of water cleansing release flow the high priestess intuition and mystery we're not sure what it is we're feeling sensing we're not there's all kinds of things coming back on grid sacred pathways sacred symbols signs geometry there's all kinds of upgrades going on that we're kind of not sure what's happening. We just know there's been a hell of a shift this year and we've all felt it. And that's the magic of it. We don't need to know the ins and outs of everything and, and the name of the upgrade or the label that people want to put on these things. We just need to know that it's happening. Isis, holy queen, mother of us all, embodied manifestation of love. Back to the Mother Earth energy. The natural world. Wholeness, creation of sacred purpose and divine parents. Wholeness, coming back to wholeness. I think there's a message here for people that have got mum or dad wounds. And they can be profound on many different levels and they can take lifetimes to heal and understand because the two people in the world that are meant to love you, protect you, honour you, respect you, in many cases actually let you down miserably. Because don't forget, and I'm not making excuses for parents, but most people, well, if you're watching this, your parents were and you were born into a time of very different frequencies when people were damaged and they had children before they even knew who they were. And that and that has radiated down family lines for a while now. And that can leave its bitterness, its anger, its resentment, its deeply seated pain. 
But at some point, we've got to try and see our wholeness through that and see beyond that and see that, yes, there's the physical parent, but there's also the energetic parent out there, you know, Father God, Mother Earth, Father of the Sky, and you, you know, your higher self. I wonder if the reason why many people, I mean, there's many reasons for everything, but it's almost like I wonder if part of the reason why there's so much parent will now is to force somebody because when nobody can nurture you, when nobody shows you the way, you have to find the way yourself. And I wonder if that's one of the big cell contracts now in order to wake humanity up is for parent wound to take place. When people turn around and go, whoa, what's happened? This isn't how it's meant to be. Right. I need to stop, need to stop hating on the parents. I know I can't save them, heal them but I can actually stop these patterns going forward with me. And maybe that, and maybe the reason why so many people are having parental wounds is because of that. Interesting. Interesting energies for the new moon in Virgo. We'll do a final card, Emperor. So you may start off as your Knight of Pentacles, but you can finish as your Emperor. Powerful, strong, determined, using your power in the right way, directing your life in the right way, and knowing that is what is meant for you will come to you, having life experience and wisdom within you. Interesting. Thank you for watching. Please do like, comment, share and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now. Bye.